Good morning and hello. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd make a quick little video. Um, I'm just up working on the cruiser and I've got myself the premium kit from Car Builders to do all the sound deadening which led into uh, putting a stereo system finally in it. Well, a speakers and sub etc. So I'll just run you through. I actually did a few of the door skins um, last night. St still got this one front door, which is why I started filming, just because of the, I can show you the noise difference. But um, I'll run you through quickly. Um, so I got the premium kit. So basically you get your four boxes of your sound deadening stuff. Um, then you've got all your, your floor liners, your roof liners, all your carpet underlays, etc, etc. Comes with the full kit. Um, everything you need to do it actually, it's pretty good. Um, and then sound system wise, yeah, so that's some of that sound dead there. That's what I've been laying inside the doors. Um, what a difference. Um, and then I've also got these here, sorry, I'm doing the run around here. Um, I've fitted one of these, so this is just some um, speaker pods that allows you to use, mine's the GXL model, so it allows me to use, just run around here quickly, the um, original map pocket, etc. So that's one I've fitted there with the speaker. Um, yeah, so that's, that's come up quite tidy, real factory looking, um, what else, what else, yeah, so a set of splits in the front, um, speaker pods, that, that's the speakers I went with, nothing crazy, just a, um, just a well-known good speaker really. Um, the RS65C2s, Alpine, and then everything else I've gone JL, uh, which I've got in my boat as well. So, RD900 amplifier, um, it's all my wiring to wire it up, obviously. And I've gone with a 13 and a half inch JL audio subwoofer. This thing is gonna be boss, it's like a shallow mount. Um, yeah, look at that badass thing. Whew. Um, and that is going in this custom made box here. Fiberglass, timber fiberglass box, and that's all molded. I just dry fit it then. Uh, so it actually fits the back wall of the um, Land Cruiser behind the back seat. Um, fits like a glove, too. It's all the right volume for the thing. So I'm going to wire that up soon. Um, that's where I'm up to. That's where I'm up to. So, um, just to give you a little comparison, like with these doors. Yeah, so I've done the two back doors and the driver's side door, like I showed you, and this one's not done. So, just I don't know if this is going to pick it up too well, but. difference yeah you get the picture um, so I'll just give you a quick little run through so obviously so that's your factory door liner uh, bar the on stone armrest but that's the factory one so we reuse this map pocket and I'll quickly run through that part of it and then I'll just go run the wires through the factory loom up in my splits I'm actually mounting in the uh, where the little four inches are they'll be coming off uh, let's get into it right so to get this door trim off all we've got to do is there's a little Phillips head in there Let's light on yep there's a little Phillips head in there pop these two caps two screws in there and then we just got to pop the the clips on the door trim um, and disconnect this this slides forward or it pops up sorry um, 
anyway I'll do it with two hands but yeah this pops up disconnect the electric window component and that's it she'll come off all right let's do it Alrighty, so I'm just using this little, um, it's actually from my wife's Nana for her 18th birthday. And she found it in my toolbox the other day. She was like, that was my 18th birthday present. I was like, what were you doing getting, given a butter knife? But anyway, it's been in my toolbox, so it's got good use. Cheers, Nana. Anyway, that's what I'm using to pop the clips. In here. One, two, two screws, two Phillips, any clockwise, nah, just joking. Two, like I said, one in here. So if you're a bit rough with your tools, you can, um, like where that levers, I got that other one off fine, no scratches, but you can tape it up or you can just buy one of them things. But anyway, so you just got to find these white clips. Uh, there's one, one, there's quite a few of them, two, three, you got to get right on it too because you don't want to strip the um, clip off your door skin. If that makes any sense. This one's the hardest off here. No, not that one, up that end. From memory. Ding ding. Ding ding. Oh, that's the other thing. So this slides forward voila pretty simple these cruises which I like where are you there yeah like I said this corner is the worst but coming off alright just because of the leverage here you really want to get it right on that clip there we go it's all about the leverage, the leverage, the cleavage. He's on fire. Take your door skin and then oh back to where I was talking about before. Let's do this end here. Clean that up. I did say that before, didn't I? And then I forgot to do it. Little clip. Push him in. She's off, mate. She's off. All right, next bit. All right, now we just got to get the map pocket off. So we turn that around. One, two, three, four, five Phillips screws. Take her off. Oh, do the four screws. See, that's the map pocket off. Next step.
Righto, so the instructions state that this will sit 20mm up from the bottom and 15mm from the front part of the door trim. So get your little Don Flooky and just roughly set that up. But before you do that, what you want to do is, is you are provided with these things which are just little spike things and what you do is you put them in every little hole where the screws where it's going to screw on uh, which allows you to and then um, is to to spike it and mark it and it also says just grab like a texture or something and color in the little tips and it also leave a little blue dot or in this case a blue dot you get what i'm saying so you push it all these into all the little the little holes like it is more it actually really good instructions that come with this this kit this was purchased through SSV it's um, cruiser console thingy but I just liked it because you it, you used your standard map pockets and it actually with this little opening here it gives you a drink holder as well um, so that's all all the holes filled right up so now take that out actually out. Take that out. Get this. I oh know. Sorry. Put some texture mark on all them little poindexters. get this into position so what was it 20 mil from the bottom 15 mil from the front we got there? 20 20 Check it. Twenty. Twenty. Triple check. Yep. Twenty mil, fifteen front. Then you can um, push on it, like I said, and then little spikes will mark your holes. Then while that's in position, actually if you had that wood in, it would actually be, so I'm going to keep my texture in the same position, I'm going to mark this hole while it's here. Get that centre, yep, alright, let's have a look. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's marked all my holes beautifully. Can't see the fucking screen. As I was saying, do, 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 marked all the holes. Alrighty. So next stage, three and a half mil drill bit. And we'll drill these out. Right. Still got me three and a half mil drill bit in. I'll drill these out without going through my pool table. Make sure you get them right on the mark.
That's them. Let's swap that. Do I have these big You just want to drill a hole big enough that your jigsaw, rubber extension lead, can uh, cut it out. The mighty Azito. She goes hard. Ah. The instructions that come with this are that good that it actually tells you you can put tape on the bottom of your um, jigsaw, you know, to stop it scratching or whatever, but it doesn't scratch. <laughs> Screw these, this under here. There is a locating hole, these here will slot into there. I'll give you half an idea. And then with the screws provided, screw them in. Get one started. Don't over tighten these like old plastic shit. You'll thread it pretty easily. Anyway, you put all them in. So it could be a little spark thingies back here. They're just there for marking it. Same thing, use the screws that are provided. What you might want to do is just get one started as a locator. Same thing, don't over tighten them, just close the gap. Should be alright, flip her over. Screw them all in. 
All right, anyway, I'm gonna screw all them on, and she's game time. So that's all them screwed up. Um, and like I said, this is the second one I've done, and I've got two spare screws, so that's good. They leave you with a uh, chance to drop a couple. There she is, she's starting to look the part. I'll grab this speaker, get that me out of that. So we want the the R at the top. Just want to check the back of the speaker, and make sure. So that is the connection. I'll we'll put that up the other way. Just which way the wires are going into it. Something to think about. Prop that up a bit. Do not get that straight. Anyway, all I'm doing is drilling them out and uh, mounting the four screws into the speaker, basically. Lock her in, Eddie. Use a Phillips head if you're not that stable with drills, etc. For a drive. There we go. There we go, mate. We have a speaker door pod on the door trim with the standard map pocket. Alright, next step. Here's obviously there's a split. So you've got your little, I don't remember what it's called. Um, that's your little tweeter. So, on this, it, it's basically got input tweeter. So one end goes to your tweeter, the other end goes to your um, speaker. And on the back of your speaker, you'll have other connections to run your actual speaker wire and amplifier. So I've just got to put some connections on that. That's pretty straightforward, just whatever connections are on your speaker. And um, then we'll start running all that stuff. Wait. Another thing to note is I've just bought these, they're like 20 bucks. They're just um, they're just a bracket for your tweeter to sit in um, and then screw straight to your factory um, in dash where your four inch speakers go. So I'm not, not running them. Um, so I've put them in. Obviously your other options are your pillar pods etc. Um, and then the, your screw thing comes with your speaker. So literally, you've got your adjustable tweeter that'll angle any which way, feed the thread on. There we go. That's ready to mount into your standard dash. I was talking about here um so all you got is the one screw one bolt there 10 mil and um then that just clips off so we'll do that get the old speaker out they thread easy too so watch them Where's Grandma's butter knife? I've done with that. There it is. I'm just leaving that off.
There we go. She's off. Same thing. Do the speaker ones. I actually changed these out uh, from stock, but they're still crap. Four inch ones. Time for some sound. Need them to put them brackets back in, like I showed you before. A little 40. Just unplug them. Oh, get off. Holy fucking shit. So I'll be cutting them off and capping them. Don't need it. Alright, I'll grab this thing in. So now this is what we're going to be putting in. Again, this wiring isn't going to be used, so we'll cap that off and just tuck it up in there, cut it shorter. And then that's going to sit up in there, and then I'm going to feed that down through the factory loom into the door to connect to the, um, the split thingy. Rattle. So you've got your uh, tweeter, and then on your connector, you've got tweeter. Line these plugs up. Obviously you want each wire's got black for negative and positive etc. So push them in to position. Make sure you actually get it on the metal and not the just stuffing it down the plastic. Which will be nice and tight, so that's that. And then this is the end that'll go to the speaker. So what I'm doing is double side taping and just putting them up in there. Um, so we'll do that. push it through the grommet into the door. All right, I'm not gonna film that, it's boring. Here's the factory water seal. Um, so you can just peel that off, keep it in good nick though, because all this is gonna go back on. The tapes there, it's just to wipe the wire. And then just fold that back on itself so it doesn't stick to anything else. And just pop that there. That's you. And we just got to get that through the door. I've double sided taped that in there. Oh no, here it was the two silver ones. Is that the wire now coming through the door, ready to connect to the speaker? Sorry that fan noise, it's getting bloody hot in the shed here. Don't over tighten any of this stuff, threads real easy. Alright, so there's the speaker wire, it's all mounted. Now we've got to do the insulation inside the door. Um, we're ready to put the door trim back on with the speaker. Rattle. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that, but they're the connections on the speaker. So you've got two positives, two negatives. Um, one of them's already got the clips which are coming from the, the split. And then the other one that I'm running to the amplifier here. So I've got to put some ends on that, which are just these push on bits. So we'll put them on there, then they can connect to that, and then the other end of this wire will go to the amplifier. Yes, as I was saying, now I've got the, the cabling um, that's running from my amp to the speaker, and this one's going from the split to the speaker. So I've just run that under there, 
or come up through there as you know like I said and I got all that there um, which on the weekend when I can pull all the seats out and do all the wiring and the um, thingy but this is just a dry run to get the insulation done really so once I've done insulated this door um, we can put that back together and shouldn't have to touch it alrighty so yeah with this seal so like I said I've just peeled that one back so I've got some access into here probably have to come a bit more up here um, just to try keep it in good nick so this is I need access much access as I can get for the um, to get them insulation panels in anyway we'll get onto that Basically what you want to do is do it in three stages really um, just because it's so hard to get in and around stuff so what I'll do is I'll put this panel I'll probably cut it like this much and put that bit in and then butt this bit up that bit up and then I'll do the whole bottom bit and then the whole top bit so you might have some little pieces just to fill in some gaps and whatnot because it is quite hard access wise so Anyway, I won't film at all, but I'll just give you a little demonstration. the one side across so you're not getting it's folding over each other etc. see there you've got that nice and tight in there and then obviously this part's gonna be done as well once we finish along here but you get the gist you just need to cover as much as the door as humanly possible to get some good sound deadening easy right go so as you can see the whole door has been aligned with the sound deadener I've been quite pedantic, I've filled in all the little gaps everywhere you look, even up around the mechanism there I've cut some little pieces to to really fill it in as it's going to make a difference so then from there from there we want to carefully 
destroy this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. trim back on. So, first things first, put this through. GoPro, I see which side's positive and negative. I oh don't know, negative is this side. One negative. Sorry. Two negatives. It's hard with only seven ends. Okay. Uh, two positives. Screws back in.
There we go. Yeah, good. There we go, mate. See the splits in the front door trim. Happy days. So, there we go. The grill's um, put back over the tweeter. That might um, disadvantage it a bit, but we'll find out. Um, speakers all in. Clips are back in. Armrest back on. That's completed. I don't have to play with that door again. And if you remember the difference here, we don't have any more tinny noise. You ripper. Make a big difference. Alright, let's get this head unit out, run some AC leads, hook the sub up, etc. etc. So what we're doing now is this sub box, custom sub box, got the wire sealed coming through of it so either end one end of the amp obviously and so i'm gonna wire this now <laughs> All right, some screws. big dog alrighty let's run some uh, gonna pull this head unit out run some RTA leads and yeah connect everything up to the amp well we got power to run to the battery everything yet yeah. so what I'm doing now is I've made I've just crimped that end for my power lead from my amp to my uh, starter battery so I've just got to get that up through the grommet into the bonnet of the battery, obviously. Um, yeah, and like I said, this the actual running of the wires isn't going to be anything special. I just want to dry run everything because uh, on Sunday when I don't need my car, I can strip the whole interior. I'm talking roof console, center console, seats, carpets, roof liners, the whole lot, and then I'll... Um, Put everything in conduit but i just want to make sure i just want to bang some beats all right all righty uh, i haven't filmed much of this wiring process but basically i finally got that through that's ready to hook up um i was contemplating whether to put the fuse on the battery side but i think it this is the fuse here so this is like i said this is a dry run um so I've got the ground here going down here. Sub, about to hook the speakers up, give her a kick in the guts, and see if I've done something right. Anyway, we'll uh, connect everything up. Well, that concludes today's efforts. Like I said, I've got to do all the, all the flooring. Thing. Oh, that so like I said, I've just got that sitting there now, but I want to show you. I've just been, just been playing with it. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Are you ready?
I can't even think. I just spent a while setting it up and it's sounding fucking rad. Go. <laughs> Well, there you go. It absolutely cranks, man. That's ridiculous. These splits, man. The power that comes out of them. And that sub, man, he's off its fucking head. Anyway, got to make a nice board to mount the amp and, you know, get all that wiring just coming up and in all schmicko. I'll put some carpet over it. Match the sub on the floor. Probably do the whole back wall next to the sub. Get it all looking Gucci. And, like I said, you'll see me in a couple of days in the same video, though, when I'm taking all the seats out, the roof console, the centre console, the carpet, the roof liner. Um, yeah. And then we're going to get all that acoustic lining in, all the sound deadening gear, all the roof lining gear. And it's only going to keep sounding better and better, so... Anyway, see you in a minute. Eww. Well, here we are. A couple of days later. A couple of hangovers later. Day after the origin. Not too good for Queensland. But anyway, apologies on this video because I think I started off by saying just a quick video. But this is not a quick video. So I'm going to skip a heap of shit. Um... At least at the start, you can see I do the door pod thingies. But as you can see, I'll spin her around. The uh, the vehicle is empty, completely empty. Roof liner, flooring, all the little bits and pieces. There's my roof console, my centre console, the subs. The amps, the visors, the clippings, the, 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 the you name it, flooring, headlock, roof liners, seats, blah blah blah. So now I'm going to um, uh, do all the acoustic lining and sound deadening. So uh, I'd say this took me about an hour and a half to get everything out. Um, so not too bad I suppose, I don't know, I don't know. And then last but not least I'll have to do this back wall um, and make a mount for my amp and I've got some carpet here to um, do something with some ply or something like that anyway. Anyway, I'm going to get cracking on this stuff and I'll, I'll show you once, I'll, I won't drag this video on any longer. But every time I put a layer of something and it's complete, I'll just give you a look at it, basically. Rattle. Well, about six hours later, <laughs> I just had dinner. Bit of a break from it. As you can see, I'll flip it around. Got all the sound deadening in. Um, that took ages. Um... Yeah, all the roof. So she was uh, a bit of a mission. But next step um, is this stuff here. So it's like a six mil insulator. So we've got to put that on the roof. Cut that in. Up and around, and I'm not sure if there's any for the floor and what the next stage is, but whatever that next stage, complete stage is, I'll give you a quick look at that. Righto, back into it. Next stage, done. That's all the floor matting. I don't know if you can see the actual thickness of that. It's like 
Fucking hell, it must be nearly on 10 mil. And make a huge difference. And then you've got um, all the acoustic liner on the roof, back wall. This here, my sub won't fit with it behind it, but I'm going to sicker flex that all in. Um, so that'll be alright. Just had some extra patches, so I've just stuck them up where I can in behind here. Um, yeah. Ready for the next step. This is that acoustic liner there. That's what's on the roof and the back wall. And your matting on the bottom. So now we put the carpet back in, the roof liner. And we'll start running some wires neatly to position. Right, eh? Bloody big job. Well, good morning. It's up to about one in the morning last night playing around. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm getting there. All the roofs back in, the floor obviously. Um, so today I've got to put the roof console in, wire that back up. Um, make a board across here. Get all my wiring coming up underneath it and poke up just into it so it looks all sweet. Sick of flex the sub in. Uh, I'm going to use a bit more of this acoustic liner on these exposed panels here, either side. Um, I'll cut, just cut the board. So I've got some carpet here. Carpet that, drill some holes, get it done. Rattle. See ya, probably when it's done to be honest. Cheers. Well, we're in the bus now. She's all put back together. We, uh, geez, it makes a difference. Incredible. So that's it. What did it did? I did the the four doors on the Friday night. Uh, the Friday, sorry. I started on the Thursday night, and then um, did that last door on the Friday. So it's probably about oh, a few hours to do the doors. And then yesterday I started about 11 a.m. and went to about two in the morning. Um, all that insulation was a big job, and I was real anal pedantic about it. Um, didn't leave any gaps or filled in all the little, you know, just, just put the shit wherever I could put it. Um, but yeah, what a difference, man. It's like cruising in a new car. But, um, yes, sorry about the length of the video. It's a cracker, I know that. And if you've stayed with me for this long, God help you. But anyway, that's it. That's it, we got beats, we got sound ending and insulation. Yeah, so we got it all done in time. Um, today's Tuesday, tomorrow it goes in for a beauty chip and um, heavy duty clutch. So hopefully she's got a little bit of purchase by the end of tomorrow. We might actually have a cruiser that goes a little bit hard. Still won't sound like a cruiser could with the DPF, but it's all good. And then after that, some stage I'm going to do another walk around video I've done over 30,000 K's in it had it a year nearly a year and a half um, so yeah I'll just let you know how it's all going and I'll do a run through of everything I've done to it because to be honest that's it I'm done I'm done so I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy it too easy cheers for watching eh? Come back to cranking in the bed Believe me, sweetie, I got enough to feed the needy No need to be greedy I got mad friends with Benzes See notes by the layers True fucking players Jump in the rover and come on